BMW FIBT Women's Skeleton World Championships in Winterberg, Germany. In the first day, the second heat, Jane Channel, the Canadian rookie of some stunning starting prowess, lying in fifth position. Her first start, second quickest in the entire field, and her second was just as strong. And great lines down the Winterberg track saw her leave Rose McGrandall trailing in her wake. Well, Channel had put down such a great performance that German junior Tina Herrmann of 20th start who had been in fourth place after the first run, 100th in front, dropped like a stone. Herman was great at finding speed at the bottom of the track, but not great enough. Channel led with still the fastest three athletes to go. When in a remarkable performance, Jacqueline Lerling, the junior world champion for Germany with her wildcard entry, had been third fastest of all in the first heat. Her first ever world championships, just three years into her sliding career. She too struggled though to match the pace of Jane Channel, even though the Germans know the track much better than the Canadian. They were tied for the lead with the fastest two sliders still to come. And those were both race winners in the World Cup this season. Elizabeth Vache started her World Cup career with silver in Lake Placid and won the next race on home ice in Calgary. She's been a contender since day one of the season and was a contender right the way through the heats. Just one hundredth of a second off leader Lizzie Yarnold in the first heat. She at least managed to put a teammate behind her by three tenths of a second. The Olympic champion sporting a brand new gold helmet, Lizzie Arnold led the field after the first run. And the 11th fastest start, but she knows how to produce the speed down the track. It took her until the Kreisel to catch the fastest starting athletes, but after that she was setting the track on fire, running into a huge, by their standards, 700s of a second lead overnight, much to the delight of her friends and family. The Olympic champion has never won a world championship, but at the halfway point with two runs to go, she leads by seven hundredths of a second. It's going to be a fascinating day too. For FIBT TV, I'm Martin Haven.